Send it. Send her. Let me also. if I'm not careful. Huh? 
Lights. Revelio. Rebellion. Eight legs is simply too many. Incendio.
run and try when I see one. These rocks have seen better days. Nice to see you, my young friend.
Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Or as or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make all of that on Professor I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the
Revelio. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me.
I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared with Precision is key when brewing potions. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Mr. Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough.
And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! What happened? <laughs> well done, Garen. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. That was it. Half a bottle of Flabbergasted Bleach. Stirred clockwise. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Incendio. Leave me be. Let us keep our heads about this. Oh, I'm, I'm 
truly sorry. I, I didn't mean... Scrope? Who is Scrope? What are you up to now? Rebellion. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Rebellion. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick.
thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring.